Perfect. So the first question is, what is the average penis size? Five and a half. Well, it depends what, what country we're talking about, no. really. Just in the world. Yeah. Just in the world. Uh, that's, uh, the six? Five and a half. It's 5.16. Yes, you are really close. Yes. I'm closer. <laughs> Second question. How many holes does the woman have down there? Down there, three. I think same. Yeah. It's three. Yeah. It's three. Before, I though, have. So so never seen a vagina. No, really, no, like, not a, not a play. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm okay. I'm okay with that. It's like, no, I've, I've touched one. I've never actually seen it. Like, I've never done it in science. I, I, I never, I never looked at it. Yeah. Interesting. Eat it. Okay, I'm, not, I'm not gonna go into that. <laughs> okay. Next question. Question number three is how fast does semen shoot out of the penis? Oh my God, it's like like twenty five like twenty five miles an hour. Oh, I don't know about miles. Is that really quick? <laughs> oh, no, it's really <laughs> you're, like you're you're very close. It's twenty eight yeah, miles yeah, yeah. per hour. Okay. Next question: How common is genital herpes? Uh, about fifty percent. Sixty. So it's theoretically it's one in six people that have it, but in practice it's 95% of the people have it. What percentage of the population has an STI? Oh, oh I think right. over over 50%. Gen general population. Uh, uh, one in one in five, I'd say. It's 50%. Yes. True or false? 60% of the penises are circumcised. Yes. True. No. True. No. Muslims and Jewish are circumcised. Oh, Muslims and they are, are too. Yeah, Muslims oh, are circumcised that, and Jewish are circumcised and most Americans are circumcised. So that whole, that whole, I think it's most. Yeah. What did you say? Sorry. What was the question? Sixty <laughs> percent. That is true. I think it's true. I feel like it's true or even more sometimes. But yeah, it's true. It's true. I say it's true. Shut up. He said false. So, it is false. But you are. It is true that in the U.S. it's 80 yes. percent, and in the U.K. it's 20 percent. How long does an orgasm last for? For women or men? For women. Ah, uh, well, any th any th anything anything between 25 se 25 seconds and three minutes. You're right. That's the correct answer. Yeah, yeah. What about men? How long does an orgasm last for men? <laughs> between, <laughs> between 20 and 25 seconds. No, 20 is that 10 seconds. Between 5 and 10 seconds. Yes, 10 seconds. <laughs> what is the most common STI in England? Ah, uh, gonorrhea. <laughs> ooh, um, ooh. What's I don't know. I have all of them. So I know. What's the, um, uh, clap? I don't know. Chlamydia. <laughs> Chlamydia. That's the one. Clap. Clap. Chlamydia. What is the UK's favorite sex position? A missionary. Dog. Dog. Doggy style. Style. They're so lazy. Doggy style. <laughs> How can you just bend over? I'm like, oh, fuck off. But that's not. That's not. That's not lazy. That's just. That's just that's mission, missionary is lazy. No. Every time. No, it's not. Every time it's like. Coming through my door, I'll be bent over. No, but that's because, uh, yeah. That's how we, that's literally, that's the only, the only answer I get most of the time. I don't have sex. What is your favorite sex position? Oh, God. Hold on a second. Uh, Wait, 69. 69. What is your favorite sex position? Oh, missionary, I think. Missionary. I'm Muslim. Which one is missionary again? <laughs> Which one is missionary? Oh no, I don't like that one. No. <laughs> yeah. um, no, he's uh, he's dog. You can describe it. He's dog, yeah. as long as he Wait, what's the one where you face each other <laughs> and their legs are up in the air? The eagle. <laughs> no, thank you. Yeah, eagle. That's the one. I'm eagle. Eagle. I like eagle. Because I like to look a person in the eye. Okay, let's get into a deeper question. Ooh. Yes, I'm okay. I like it. <laughs> Wait. Okay. How old were you when you had sex for the first time and what advice would you give your younger self? Well, it depends, like sexual, like actual sexual intercourse, like oh, penetration that. or... Okay, uh, like I was 15 uh, and the advice is that just really relax into it. 
the more nervous you are, the worse it gets. So just 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 let it do its thing. It's fucking great. <laughs> How old were you when you had sex for the first time and what advice would you give your younger self? It was in uni. It was with a girl and I was 20, 20? Twenty. Fuck you. Oh, sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm a, <laughs> shut up. So I don't know why I did this. Um, um, um. I was twenty. I was in uni, and it's the first time I had sex with a woman, and I really found out she ain't the one. Uh, and I just like men. Um, so my advice will be, pick your side, stick to it. Do you do you remove or trim pubes? And when it gets when it gets when it gets wild, it then. Yeah, you get, you get, you get, you, you, yeah, you, 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 you got to cut the grass if you want to be into this, right? Yeah, you don't yeah. remove it. That's no, you don't remove it. Not, not anymore. That's like naked. Least, not like, anymore, no, thank no. you. No, no trim. That, that's Always that's trim. That's the baby. That's don't the baby let it grow. Kind trim of situation. it. You want someone to go down there and be trimmed. Do you know what I mean? You want your bush to be trimmed, not forest. A lot of people like it. A lot of people like. like I know, and like I haven't found them bush. yet. So. Yeah. Yeah, trim, trim, trim is the one. Sex on the first date, yes or no? <laughs> yeah. yeah, fuck yeah, fuck yeah. You have to yeah, be, it, you it have depends. to be chemistry, and then it is. You have to be sexually compatible to do anything in life. I know. So Otherwise, there's like no you're point. You're not gonna go anywhere. I mean, if it goes really oh, well, I mean, then you might as well do it. I mean, because I just feel like you have to be both at the same level, though. You can't just be like, let's have a thing. I'm like, if they're giving you that eye and you giving them that eye, and then it goes, go, go, go. Imagine finding out that someone is asexual. Like, which which is absolutely fine. Like, like if you do, like if you if you're asexual, it's absolutely fine. But if you find that out on the third date when you're about to go and do things, like I mean, it's a little bit of a disappointment. Yeah, yeah, someone. I I think I feel like asexual is fine, but like communication above anything else. Really. Communication is the key. But the thing is, a date you talk about everything, and I feel like. I personally, I'm a person who ha likes to have sex, and if there's no sex, I feel like I can get on with someone 100%, but if there's no sex, I feel like, for me, there's no connection. For me, different people, different things. What is the weirdest place that you've ever had sex? <laughs> <laughs> Let me think, there's of places. <laughs> Wait, define weird. That's what I mean. Not the bed. Oh, oh no. <laughs> that, this is gay people. Gay people mean that doesn't like, narrow it this down. This is a whole new that's outside your house. It still not that doesn't still narrow it down. Open. Okay. Like uh, behind bins. Uh, um, yes, yeah, babes. Nightclubs. After a nightclub, you know. I uh, went. I jumped into a park. Uh, <laughs> a park area. Is this like? Is this going anywhere? I don't want my parents to see. <laughs> Oh, um, okay. Park. Park is a great place because yeah, it it's dark. You know, you go into the bush. Yeah, it was in the. You dog, take a top off, put it on the floor. You know, in, it's fine. In a dog park. In a dog park in Oxford. Yes. Yeah. Because it's like apparently no one can accommodate uh, in Oxford for some reason. I don't know why. I don't want to admit this. Okay. My no. she's got, place she's going. She's going. I it, and it was only once was the toilet, and I just yeah, it's not the one for me. Another question: What is the best sex advice that you've ever gotten? That I have forgotten. No one has ever given me sex yeah. advice. No one has ever given me sex <laughs> advice. We don't talk about sex <laughs> advice. Okay. You should follow our Instagram page then. We give a lot of sex advice. Cool. Like, Let us know. Thank at the end I, of this. I appreciate we'll that. It's for everyone. Just be careful and be safe. Because yeah. you don't know, like, that's the only advice I would give. Communicate, communicate communication. with each other. Like, yeah. Communicate with each other. And I think 100% like, honesty is no, the one. There's no, there's no, there's no point yeah. of hiding about, like, hiding, of so, like, hiding there's something. There's no point. These days, like, everything is cute. Like. Have you ever faked an orgasm? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Why? Because I wanted to be over with. Because I couldn't come. <laughs> Last question. What is one misconception you had about sex growing up? You'll catch AIDS. You'll catch AIDS or whatever. Yeah. That was the that was the thing, and I'm like, but but there's another side to it, and there's like an open book, but no one talked about it. It's just it was just like the thing is that you're gay, but we we like I don't want to say for you, but we we. 
Okay, I'm an old gay. I'm <laughs> over Definitely 30. Not I'm not going to say anything. <laughs> I'm under 40 and over uh, over 30. And a half. I'm 35, bitch. So fuck off. <laughs> sorry. I keep swearing. I'm so sorry. I'm 35. And <laughs> my thing that I've heard a lot was, oh, you're gay oh and AIDS. And we were like, no, there's a science behind this. And there's a, like, you know, especially like in the last five years. The communication on the scene and everything has been clear to be like that's not how it's done you can't just you know just even like a blowjob you can get something and you're like mm, not really like you know there's a different you can get like there's different ways of getting certain things and it's like yeah get inform yourself if you're young inform yourself before you do anything it's the best way and and it's just like it's the best way to do it the question already so sorry You're okay. right. what misconception you had about sex growing up uh that anal sex hurts like ah. yes uh so I feel pro like that. i'm joking no. <laughs> <laughs> it's not about being a pro it's really about no, I'm it's a joke. It's a joke. well just because i get paid for it doesn't mean that it's professional I'm joking. <laughs> That's not my profession. Although, like, se <laughs> but, like, sex, sex positive all the way, all the way through. Um, yeah, no, By like, way, just, just, re just, just relax, in, just relax into <laughs> it. Just relax into it. Like, it's, it's fine. It's all in your head. And once it's in there, trust me, you'll enjoy it very much. This was so good. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you.